consider this a word of disclaimer. While we have the cartridges and in most cases the consoles, we'll be using emulation from time to time for ease of filming or performing the set hack. For instance, with Super Metroid, we use emulation because of the lack of our SNES hardware. All glitches and codes we show on game hack can be done on the original equipment. As for hardware fixes, while they are well documented elsewhere, your ability to perform them is dependent on your own skill in electronics or PC repair. In other words, don't cry to us if you break it. Alright, we're here today because we're going to replace our standard red Nintendo LED with this pink high intensity LED. We have finally discovered the quantifiable way to make a Nintendo better than any other given example. <laughs> By the uh, Barbie Malibu Corvette uh, Doctrine. First things first, you gotta get this thing out. This part here is the front panel where the power and the reset buttons and the LED are. Uh, if you don't know how to take apart your case and get this part out, you shouldn't be doing this. The first thing are these two little metal tines that are mach that machine this piece in place. And you want to sort of get by them and bend them up. This way you can slide this part up and out. It should come up and out. Next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to remove the solder on both of these pins to remove this uh, chip. We're going to use a soldering iron to do that. The butane powered soldering iron that discerning Nintendo Beat can strike anywhere without warning. So you want to make absolutely positive you know which way your legs are going. Actually, I might want to bend that up here for a second, but I'll figure it out once it's in place. I just bend it a little bit now so I know which way I need to go. Next we gotta clear out these. Yeah, I'm gonna end up soldering the toothpick in place, which either one. Soldering iron. Hot solder here. Get your hot solder here. <laughs> it definitely does sound like some kind of bizarre food product. Hot solder. Get your hot solder here. Try it on 50 cents. And it is somewhat imperative not to do what I usually wind up doing, which is putting the stupid LED in backwards and then wondering why it doesn't really work. <laughs> That's why I test it like 50 times. Measure twice, cut once, right? Not that we're speaking from experience here. No, sir. Not us. Oh, yeah. That's what happens when you get old. You start doing things right, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, fuck that. I don't want to make sure. I don't want to make sure I don't have to go in there again. Fuck that. <laughs> That's more time wasted. I'm getting old. I don't have that much time. <laughs> Junction, not the solder, or else zero will kill you. It's a very simple rule. Do it correctly, or I will kill you. I touch the solder, <laughs> I wrap it around the junction. Exactly. I'm really fast with it. That's what. That's another thing that you get from experience is soldering like that with shaky, with slightly shaky, nervous hands. Go in there real quick. Looks like we're nice and clean there. I didn't even use flux, but there's plenty on there from before. It's flux core solder too. Yep. So that is a clean solder job there, kids. Very clean. That's probably better than the machine did. I mean, look at the other ones on there. These things are big-ass blobs. Pretty sure the original Nintendo boards were hand-soldered for most of the components. Yeah. So 
sweater is so expensive. I hereby bequeath to thee thy cutters. Actually, my cutters. I give myself a little bit of pin out there because that makes them easier to take out when you're replacing it. If you need to replace it. And try to trim them even to make it look somewhat professional. Yeah, professional enough for government work. And that is how you replace the LED on a Nintendo. And or convert it into the Barbie Nintendo. That's right. Now we go plug it in and see if we let the smoke out. <laughs> what we have here is the first test run of the Barbie Nintendo. It has risen from the grave. And I've bestowed upon it new life. And I want to see if my test for the new pink LED has taken that life away again. Woo! He lives. He has bestowed upon it new life with a plastic detachable head and nylon hair and a pink Jeep. <laughs> Alright, you know how in Super Metroid I hear this thing, there's this rumor going around that if you can turn into a ball right before you hit the ground, you can roll as fast as you can run. This is not a good idea. <laughs> oh. no. Nope, doesn't work. Didn't work. I think you need a suit upgrade for that first. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck happened to your character? He's Batman. Oh. 